I know a lot of y'all probably remember this dude, my Florida Gator cornerback, you know what I'm saying? WSD sing out there. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it going though. Yup, yup, yup. Six foot, man. Yup, yup. We're gonna keep everything the same. We're gonna see what's up with this bill, man. From its annual home of Indianapolis, Indiana. Welcome, everybody, to the 2024 NFL Scouting Combine. I'm Kate Scott. Happy to be here with you alongside someone who went through this event himself as a player just, just a couple years ago, right? Mr. Brock Heward. And Brock, it is the moment all of these guys have been waiting for. A chance to compete in front of all 32 NFL teams and convince them that they should be a first-round pick. And let me just tell you, these guys have prepared as much for today as they did for the most important games of their college careers. We've got our eyes on a lot of the biggest names here, but there's one defensive back in particular we're all very excited to see test. He, of course, the former Florida Gator. And now we'll see this lockdown cover corner in the 40. Yeah. Getting ready, down into his stance, and here we go. We expected him to test very well here in <laughs> <laughs> the best times we'll see today. Hey. 4-2, man. Stop playing with me, dog. With the DMX in the background, man. Stop playing, man. 4-2, man. Open up, shot. Hey. Oh. No. Ah, right, let me keep going, man. Hey. <laughs> That's crazy. 4-2, man. Stop playing with me, dog. All right, I got to see how I'm going to do this. <clears throat> the all-important test of strength for a future NFLer. It's chest day, baby. Turn on the bench press. Okay. Here we go. Somebody's a regular in that weight room as those reps went up, eyes got wider. And this is a total that will grab some attention. Okay. 13. Ah. Uh. 17, 18. Them boys are that big. Them boys are that big. They're stepping. I ain't tripping. His turn at the broad jump. That's a good jump from him. That's in the ballpark of what we all expected. So that's going to check this box off for a whole lot of teams. Well, I guess, man. It is time for the fastest event of the combine. It's a showcase of how well you can change direction. It's the 20 yard shuttle. That is such an excellent mark right there. And there's no doubt that he's got the quickness and the change of direction to thrive on an NFL field.
He holds up athletically. Now let's see how he holds up playing some defense at game speed. Eh. Oh shit. Rat and catch tiff. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I play on me, boy. All I did at Florida, boy. Stop playing with me. He couldn't have done much better there, Kate. That showed exactly what he could do on Sundays. And every team here, they're now imagining what he'd look like making plays for them. The 2024 NFL Scouting Combine. A lot of great performances, impressive numbers put up, and one player who took center stage in front of all 32 teams. So from Indianapolis, we say so long, and we will see you April 25th for night one of the NFL Draft. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. That was the combine right there, y'all. You see that 40 time, though. <laughs> I could have got a 4-2-1 to be real with you, but we will take that 4-2-7. Fastest 40 time at the combine. Is there one to watch? Keep your eyes on. If you see after that combine performance, you're going places you already know. Ready, T? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I already let my agent know I'm going to the Jazz. So I don't really care how this play out. That's cool with me. Still first round, you know what I'm saying? Either way, I'm gonna make an impact once I build up, you know what I'm saying? You need to put your NFL knowledge to the test. You know what I'm saying? So.
Playing the cornerback position is one of the hardest things to do in sports, and this guy does it at such a high level. What impresses me most is his ability to play man-to-man. -man. He was the sort of person, when you cut the film on, you knew the number one receiver on whatever team was going to be shadowed the entire game. Yeah, man-to-man -man is a luxury. RC, you said it's a lost art, but with this guy, he just shows up, give me him, I'm going to lock him down, you guys go do the rest. They might as well call him Wallet because he stays in receiver's back pocket. They can't <laughs> run, they can't move, they can't go across the field, they can't do anything if he's on them. Playing the talk y'all talk, soldier. <laughs> Okay, dog. You boy back in the county. Yes, sir. Three point five, secure the bag. Four seventy five. First round, twenty seven pick. Uh, Y'all boys could have got me a little earlier, but it's cool though. I'm appreciative. Let's get it. Tell them boys stop playing with me, man. We back in doom up in ball. Let's get it. What's up, Ricky? Welcome to the league. And I truly believe you have a real good chance to be special in this league. But just know this, when you face me, them hamstrings better be good and loose. Cause the cheetah stay ready, baby. He stay ready. Good luck.
That boy said I love the chop. You already know, so <laughs> want to be a hater but i doubt if this kid can play at this next level i know he had big numbers i know he balled in college but this is the nfl he has to go up against grown men now look i don't think you're a hater you're more of an antagonist look turn on the tape look at what this kid does they drafted him that high for a reason i think he's going to make an immediate impact as he's the opening day star this kid has sauce gardner will anderson jr written all over him he was drafted that high to come in right away and be an impact player and from everything i've heard he is not letting them down one bit now it has to happen in the regular season and we are about to see a young man take over this league sauce